Okay, so never do this in mathematics, especially in algebra. And uh, what am I talking about? Well, you're just going to have to hold on one second to uh, take a look at this very, very common mistake that a lot of algebra students make that uh, really sink their uh, test and quiz grades. So if you stick around for a couple minutes, you're going to really um, see this common mistake in action because you probably made it yourself. And after this video, you'll be like, nope, I'm never going to make that mistake. And I'm going to get awesome uh, grades in your uh, respective math courses. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And after uh, all those years of teaching, I've learned one thing, and that is all students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work. Okay, So if you're not willing to do the work, you can't be successful in anything. But the second thing a student needs is great math instruction, super clear and understandable. And that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Also, if you happen to be preparing for a test with a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, or teacher certification exam. I have a uh, wide or large um, catalog of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school math courses that you may want to check out. And if this video helps you out, consider helping me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. All right, so uh, what am I talking about? Never do what? Well, we're going to use this problem right here as an example. And what I'd like you to do is to go ahead and simplify this algebraic expression. Let's go ahead and write this thing in a simpler way. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm just giving you a little bit of time uh, in teaching. We call this wait time. Okay, I want you to think about this for, I don't know, five seconds before you respond. So uh, once you're ready to give me your answer, go ahead and give me your answer. So I'd like you to simplify this expression. Okay, so you're ready? All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So uh, let's uh, see here. we got C plus 1 over C. I think what would be good is we could cross-cancel this C and this C, and uh, our answer would be 1. Okay, so how many of you got this right? How many of you uh, put a 1 there? If you, in fact, put a 1 there, I must go ahead and give you a very... Uh, sad, sad face, because this is the exact um, error that I'm talking about. This is wrong. So a lot of you are saying, what are you talking about? This is wrong. Uh, why is this wrong? Well, I'm going to explain to you right now why this is wrong. And if you made this mistake, listen, I'm glad that you made this mistake with me, okay? Because that way you will not make this mistake on your quizzes and tests. So this is a, um, again, very common error. But let's go ahead and take a look at why this is wrong. Okay, so the best way to kind of, um, you know, understand this situation is here we have our C plus 1 over C. So C is just a number. Remember, a, um, a variable in algebra just represents a number. So here we have a number plus 1 over that same number. So let's take a look at a situation where we have a number, but this time we're going to make that number actually, um, you know, something we can recognize. So like 3 plus 1 over 3. So if I gave you this expression, 3 plus 1 over 3, and we wanted to kind of, you know, simplify this, we would say, okay, 3 plus 1 is what? Well, that is 4, and we have 4 over 3. So that would be the fraction 4 thirds, no problem. Now, if we kind of like do this little error, because you know, it's so tempting, you're like, oh, this C, I could cross cancel with that C, and you're like, okay, that would just let me with the 1. Uh, you know, that kind of makes um, sense, but I'm going to show you where you're confusing us here in a second. But let's just apply that logic over here. Okay, if that was the case, 3 plus 1 over 3, we just cross-cancel this 3 and this 3, and the, uh, the result of this fraction would just be 1, right? This would be equal to 1, and it clearly is not equal to 1. It's equal to 4 thirds, okay? Very, very common uh, mistake. And let's go ahead and see this mistake in action. There's a couple different flavors that, uh, you know, students uh, look at. So let's take a look at these two expressions here. What might be tempting is, oh, I see a 2 here and a 2 here. So students might say, oh, I could cross-cancel this 2 and this 2, which is kind of another variation of this mistake. This is wrong as well. Or they might see an x here and an x here, and they're like, oh, I could cross-cancel this, this x with this x. Incorrect. Okay, all of these things here I'm showing you are wrong. Okay, so when can you actually cross-cancel like this? Well, you can only cross-cancel factors. So if I have 
uh, 2 times 3 over 2, okay? Or uh, let's see here, 3 times x over x, which of course in algebra is the same thing as 3x over x. When things are separated by multiplication, these are what we call factors. You can cross cancel like factors, so this two can uh, cross cancel with that two. This would be equal to three. Uh, three times x, we have x up here and x on here. This, these are factors. I could cross cancel like factors uh, all day long. That is um, correct, okay? But you can't cross cancel things that are involve a sum, okay, or a difference like two plus three over two. Okay, this is not a factor because this is, you're adding a number. So this is a sum. This is like one number in and of itself. Here we're multiplying two uh, separate numbers. Okay, so again, we can't do this, but we can definitely do this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and keep this video nice and short uh, so you can really reflect on uh, this mistake. But listen, even if you got this wrong, you know, and you had this kind of expression, uh, and now you understand, well, let's go ahead and fix this up and be like, okay, I'll never do this again. You'll be nice and happy. And you could tell your teacher, hey, uh, you know, I know you try to trick me. Listen, math teachers are kind of tricky. Okay, they put proms like this on test and quiz because they're kind of looking, they're kind of trying to, uh, you know, fool you a bit, right? Believe me, I made tons and tons of math tests for several decades. And a lot of the questions uh, look like, you know, um, they, the questions are designed to see if you uh, are going to make these common mistakes, all right? And this is a very common mistake that after watching this video, I know you will not make. And if that is the case, if this video helped you out, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.